Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, in various places on the internet. It's 1.53 p.m. according to a computer clock on Wednesday, September 16, 2015. And this is my review of Benny and Veronica number 277. This is the final part of the Farewell Benny and Veronica storyline where they go on that multi nation uh, year abroad. The overseas program or whatever. It's been so long since the first issue of this came out that I forget all of the details. But anyway, I got the variant cover because I couldn't get the regular cover off Tifa. Um, anyway, this part is called Chapter 6, I Gotta Be Me. Chapter 6? Well, hang on. Something is bothering me about this. Hang on. Okay, so, alright, yeah, it is, um... Hi, Kichu, Kichu's here. <laughs> it is six issues, I thought it was seven, but, um... It started with number 272, um, last year. But, uh, okay, so... In this issue... Uh, there's a dispute between Dilton and Jughead over Bonnie because they're both like in love with her or something and um, Archie and Reggie are trying to break it up <laughs> Bonnie apologizes for causing disharmony and um, but Cheryl enjoys it and she says I never knew a studious nerdy guy could kiss like that so I guess this is confirmation that Dilton and Cheryl's relationship from like the early 2000s never happened. But um, anyway, then Violette, the French girl, kisses Jughead because he's an artiste. Um, anyway. Midge pulls both of them away with her so they can have a lot of good old Riverdale girl talk. And then, uh, she invites Cheryl along to help. And then, but Cheryl's all, did you see how Dilton kissed Bonnie? And she flirts, she flirts with Dilton. If you ever want to talk, just whistle. You know how to whistle, don't you, Dilton? Yeah, Cheryl's into Dilton. Again, for the first time. Whatever. Um, Dilton's like, I think I just forgot how to whistle. And Archie's like, just put your lips together and blow. Yeah, this is, I forget which movie that this is a reference to, but yeah. Uh, and then, um, <laughs> and then Reggie's like, I, uh, wow. He gets it. This is probably like the first blowjob reference in Archie Comics. I mean, <laughs> oh, boy. So, what, does Cheryl want to suck Dilton off? <laughs> anyway, um, any, 
in Paris. Yeah, Betty and Veronica are in France now. Betty's glad to be a blonde again. Veronica's glad to be herself. And they're eating snails at a French restaurant. But they miss Pop Tates, burgers, and fries, and chocolate malts. And there are too many good looking French guys. They, they miss the average guys of Riverdale. Um, then they start comparing the, what Riverdale doesn't have that France has, but what Riverdale does have with it, it's pretty pathetic and yeah, I don't see why they're desperately like missing Riverdale or they're trying to make it seem that Riverdale is much more appealing to them than France. Um, also, apparently, Veronica has never been to, uh, France by herself without her parents. Anyway, let's, let's move on. As the months passed, the seasons changed. So, it's like, it's showing, I guess we're backtracking a bit... And we're going through like autumn and winter and early spring. Yeah. Um. And yeah, so Benny and Veronica are doing their stuff in France. And uh. Finally, spring dawns. It's prom night. So yeah, Archie and Reggie don't have dates and they're embarrassed and they're missing Betty and Veronica and uh, let's see, Dilton's going with Bonnie, Jughead's going with Violet, and um, they decide... Archie and Reggie decide to go inside, take some pictures of the prom, and Archie's going to Photoshop them into the pictures. Yeah. He, he actually says Photoshop, which is kind of surprising. But you know what would have been simpler? Find some girls to dance with and have someone else take pictures of you dancing with them, and then just text those pictures to Betty and Veronica, and just, or email them, or whatever. And meanwhile, at the same time in France, Benny and Veronica are having their final exam in French history, taken entirely in French. Um, they're talking about how they learned to be like each other. They're, they're Veronica's studying and she's doing good. And um, Betty's become bolder. She uh, refuses offers from some guys to carry their bags. And she's like, not necessary. Can we carry yours? Which embarrasses them. Um, so, let's see. They take their exam in French. So both Betty and Veronica know French. I guess they would have to know every single language of every country that they went to in order to you know go there and learn anyway uh, turns out they're, they're going home to pack and let's see Veronica 99 of the 100 suitcases that she brought were full of clothes and shoes that she donated to charity. Now she has to fit everything that she owns into one suitcase that she has left. Really? This is such a stupid conflict because... Why not just take her suitcases back after she's dropped off the donated clothes? And it never comes into play. Um, she's got 
Betty's got two suitcases because she bought more stuff than she thought in each country that they visited. So haha, ha, Betty's got more suitcases than Veronica. Oh, they keep talking about being Betty's and Veronica's, or a Betty and a Veronica. Again, they would not be talking about this in the universe of Archie Comics. Betty and Veronica are not big deals that you could, that they would refer to people as a Betty or a Veronica, especially not themselves. Veronica calls herself a Veronica. This is stupid. Anyway. Violet doesn't want to leave. Uh, Jughead doesn't want her to leave. Um, blah, blah. Same thing with Delta and Bonnie. She wants Dylan to come with her to India. Monday, the end of the school year, Bonnie and Violet are in Mr. Weatherby's office. And they're, they're, they don't want to leave Dilton and Jughead. Soon it's time to dislodge from Lodge Mansion, so... Uh, Bonnie says goodbye to them, and apparently... She is now a lodge. Okay, good for her. Uh, oh, here's an ad with a nice, like, you know, nice cleavage on Betty. But anyway, uh, the coop, home to Betty Cooper and her parents. So Alice is helping um, Violet pack for France and gives her a photo of herself and Hal. Yeah, um, Betty's dad. She also refers to, uh, to Violet as a third daughter, which basically acknowledges the existence of Betty's older sister, Polly, even though Polly doesn't appear in this storyline. Um, so, at the airport, no, not at the airport. It's it said Lodge Manor, and for whatever reason, Violet is there as well, um, as well as uh, Hal and Alice Cooper. I, I guess Mr. Lodge is having both of them taken to the airport in the same limo. Um, Archie and Reggie come by with wanting to say stuff to. Bonnie and Violet, and Bonnie's like, you know, text me, revise it, then text me. Reggie plagiarizes some speech or whatever. Uh -huh. Um. Betty and Veronica have a rough ride home because there's fat guys snoring between them. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, then we get into this really weird part. Um. Ronnie, I have this terrible feeling. What kind of terrible feeling, Betty? Just this dark feeling that we're going to get back to Riverdale and find that everything has changed. Nothing. Oh, then Veronica. Nothing is the way it should be or look. That all our friends are just different forever. Then Betty's like, accept us. As if we'll be flying above Riverdale forevermore, never changing, never aging, with unknown people staring at this new Riverdale and wondering whatever happened to Archie's gals, Betty and Veronica. This last part was Betty's. Um, And uh, then Veronica's like, it's just a bad dream, Betty. We all have something too special to lose. Each other. And Betty's like, and Riverdale. So they talk for a bit more. And then Veronica's like, so let's stop being afraid of the future, Betty. Let it come. Betty and Veronica are coming home to Riverdale. This is obviously setting up 
the Archie reboot, which has already started because this storyline's been so freaking delayed. The thing is, this isn't the final issue of Betty and Veronica, it's the penultimate issue. So Betty and Veronica come home, their passports are stamped, and Betty's having trouble getting all of her crap off the conveyor belt. You know, she she has a whole two suitcases. Her her Uh let's see. They come they come out uh from whatever area to whatever area. They're momentarily surprised no one's there to greet them. And then all of a sudden, oh, the girls, the boys, and the faculty, and their parents, and yay. And then Archie, yay. So basically, this whole subplot of uh, Archie raising money to go overseas to meet Benny and Veronica amounted to absolutely nothing never happened. So then they're standing outside Riverdale High. A bit strange considering it's already been the last day of school and school's out for the summer. And then there's uh, there's no place like home and there's a welcome to Riverdale sign. And then at the end, with thanks to John Goldwater Sr. and Bob Montana and the writers and artists who magically brought it to life. So this seems very much like a tribute to all of Archie Comics that's gone before. Except there, there's still one more issue. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um... Let's see. Oh, here's Bridget. Bridget wasn't involved in this storyline, really, but yeah, there's, that's Bridget, the token fat girl. Uh, and Chuck and Nancy and Ethel. And, yeah, it's like they, they decide to do a bit of a group shot at the end and put in characters that really weren't involved in this storyline. Uh, also, there's multiple references throughout this story that uh, it's been a year. Like Alice says, how can it be a year since I sat here helping Betty pack? Alright, school was in session when uh, Betty and Veronica went for the overseas thing. And school is in session now. Uh, I assumed it was just one school year, like from September to May or June. But um, apparently, they keep saying it's been it's been a year. Like a full, like they're insinuating a full year. Also, Judging by a comment from, um, where is it? Jughead wants Violet to stay, and Violet's like, even if my staying meant my exchange person, your Betty, would have to remain overseas for another year. So, it looks like Betty and Veronica are juniors in this story, and they spent their entire junior year of high school overseas. And they'll be back for senior year. But, if they've really been gone for a whole year, then that would mean they start off on this program near the end of their sophomore year. And that would mean that they spent summer vacation overseas, and that doesn't make sense. But it does say it's been a year. 
Maybe they mean school year and they just don't say school year because year would be more effective, but it's really confusing. Anyway, what's more confusing, here's a little blurb for this issue as well as a preview of the next issue. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the final leg of Betty and Veronica's round the world journey. I didn't. Uh, next issue is the Riverdale High School Prom. This issue was the high school prom. They're going to have another high school prom in the next issue, so what is it? One year later? Are, are they seniors in, in this next issue? Because only juniors and seniors have proms, really. Uh, and it's one last dance for Archie, Betty, and Veronica with a magical trip down memory lane in this momentous issue. Memory lane. They're, they're, are they doing the, the time travel cramp again? Anyway. So, uh... So that, that, that's basically it for this storyline. It, 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 it's just, it's very poorly done. I don't like it. It's just, stuff was introduced that never made any difference. And did they even visit all of the countries that they were supposed to? I kind of, for, I forget the list of all the countries that they were supposed to visit. And it's like, wait, wait a minute. When did they go to Italy? Did they actually go to Italy? Because I, I see Veronica in the montage by the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Did they go to Italy? I, I don't think that was one of the countries that was listed, was it? I forget now. Seriously. Uh. But I don't think it was. Anyway, I, I'm going to stop now because I'm just rambling. But uh, anyway, it's 2.15 p.m. Thanks for watching.